Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is part 10 of how to build a job board using Django and Vue. In the previous part we added more information to the jobs. In this part I'm going to make it possible to search for the jobs. I'm going to use Vue to search and get the data using Ajax. The first thing we need for the search is a Vue. I want to create a very simple API for this. So let's begin by creating a new file inside the job app called api.py. New file api.py. So I need to import a few things like JSON and I need to import something called Q from Django from Django.db.models import Q. This will help us search and from Django.http import JSON response. This makes it possible to serve JSON as a response. Then I need to import the job model from dot models import job. And then I can create the view def API search. Pass in the request parameter. I want to create the empty list for the jobs. Jobs list equals empty list. This is the list I'm going to return to the user. Then I want to get the data from the request body json.loads request.body this is how we get the search term the user is searching for query equals data query and I want to make it possible to search for company size and then I get the jobs by saying jobs equals job dot objects dot filter q title i contains check if the title of the job contains the query or if the short description i contains sorry i contains the query or if the long description i contain query or the company name contains the query company name I contains query or if the company place contains the, com the query company place I contains query you can add more fields here if you want to as well and then if the job size is specified. I can say if company size. Then we also need to filter out this by saying jobs equals jobs dot filter company size equals company size. And then I need to turn this into JSON. To do this, I just loop through the jobs for job and jobs. And then I create the object obg. Create a dictionary id job dot id title job dot title company name job dot company name this is all the data I want to show in the search results URL slash jobs slash percentage s job dot id and then I need to append this object to the list of job list up here. So then I just say job lists, jobs list dot append obg. And then I can return JSON response jobs jobs list and save. And then I can copy the name of this view and import the URLs from dot api import api search then i can edit at the top here path api search api search name is api search and save before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons and then i need a view to show the search i want this to be located in views.py in the job app can add this to the top here 
def search request return render request job slash search dot html and I don't need to pass in anything then I can import this as well to the URLs that goes down there path search search and the name is also search okay so then I can create a link to this in the base.html so up here I can edit at the beginning of the navbar end a href url search search save we can go to the browser okay there's an error invalid syntax okay yes i forgot to add some curly brackets let's go there and there save everything now is okay refresh now i have a search there i haven't created a template yet so i need to do that now i also noticed i forgot to add a class to this class navbar item Okay, so then I can create the search.html template. So if I just scroll down here into job search.html, I want this to extend the base template as well. I think it's located in core slash base.html like that. Block content and block in here I want to create a div class now div id search app this is for view h1 class title search so you can just save this and see that it works yes so here we get title perfect below here I want to create a form form v on submit dot prevent equals perform search so when I submit this form I call this function from view I will create this soon div class columns div class column is for here I want to create a query field div class field Div, no, I want a label here, label query. Below the label, div class control, input type text, name is query, class input, and the V model is query, so we can get it in the view below. Below this field, I want one more, div class field to select the company size label company size div class control div class select and in here I create a simple select list select name company size v model company size create one option for all sizes option value can just be empty set it to selected all then I can copy this I want four of it should not have copied this one to nine ten to forty nine fifty to ninety nine and one hundred plus and here can copy what we have in the models because I want to use this value okay, 10 to 49 50 to 99 and 100 and then below this field I need a button for submitting the form div class field div class control button class button is success search 
So we can save this and see if it works. Okay, query, company size, and search. Perfect. And then at the bottom here, we need to create one more block tag. Block scripts and block. And then I create a script. And then I create a new view app. Const search app. I need a data array like this return query which is the field up here the company size and jobs which will be a list of jobs I get from the database or the back end need to set the delimiters I always like to use these two double braces like this. And then below here, I say view dot create app search app mount hashtag search app and save. So if I refresh now, just go to inspector to see that everything is okay. Yes, no errors. Great. Then I can create the method perform search, which will be called when we submit the form. Methods, which will be a list of methods, perform search, var data. This is what I want to send to the backend. Query, this dot query, company size, this dot company size. I'm going to use fetch to send the data to the backend. Fetch. Oops. Jobs slash API search. Sorry. Like that. And in here, I want to set the method to post headers so we can get JSON from the backend content type application oops application slash json x csrf token csrf token like that and then i need to set the body so we actually send this object up here json dot stringify Data. And then when this is sent in, we get a response. So we call dot then response, and we return JSON dot JSON dot response. From this, we get a result. So we say then result this dot jobs equals result dot jobs. And if there are any errors, we can log down to the console, catch, error, console.log, error, error, and save. So if I refresh now, just try to search for job, search, okay, JSON is not defined, no, because it's supposed to be response.json. Save, refresh, job, search. Okay, I got no errors. That seems everything is working. But there is console.log, this dot no result.jobs. We can try the search again. Yes, we get the empty array. But if I search for just jobs, I get four. Perfect. So then I need to loop through this and show them at the bottom here. Just close the inspector, go into the code again, and then below the form, I say div v if jobs.length. So I only show this div if there are any jobs. HR to add a separate line. Div v4 job in jobs. So I loop through all of the jobs. V bind. Key job.id b 
because when you loop through a list in view you need to bind an attribute key to something in the job array no in the data array class notification empty two so it has some space above and then in here i show a small title h3 class is size four job.title below i can show the company name job.company name and then below i create a link to the job so i can bind it by saying vbind href job.url view details then i just want to close the div and save so if i now refresh search for job oops there is something wrong the if sorry refresh job search and here i get the list of jobs if i click job 2 i will get the list now i get the full detail of the job 2 perfect if i want i can remove the bind because just this colon is a shortcut for binding like this the same goes with the v on submit this can just be a at submit if you want to refresh and everything still the same perfect and that was it for this part of the series if you liked it please click like and share below if you want notification when the next part is published you need to subscribe and remember to click the bell as well see you next time